Hey guys, Lego Master 9 here today, and today I'm gonna show you how to build um, this thing. I'm gonna do a tutorial on it. Like, remember a couple videos back where I showed you a showcase of this? Uh, yeah, we're gonna do a tutorial on it. So, let me just find a good spot to build this, and I'll meet you back. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, yeah, I've traveled a bit. So, what you need to make this is the. Actually, no, never mind. Um,. So you're gonna get your blocks, and then you're gonna be building as long as you want, like this. For me, I'm just gonna have it be five. So you're gonna need redstone stuff. Yeah. But then um, there are two different ways to build this, or at least the selected part. I'm gonna cut this down a bit. So. Um, there we go. So now we have five. <coughs> Let me just build on top like this. And then on the side you're going to be putting some blocks like this. Sorry. And then there's going to be like and then this is going to have however many combinations you want. So if you want two combinations you put two lamps Three, you put three lamps. Four, you put four, etc. So I'm gonna have three to make it easy. And then, <coughs> sorry about that. I'm kind of sick. So, and then you're gonna have two buttons here, and then lamps. That. Now I'm just gonna mark it for now. Okay. So yeah. So now this part here, we're gonna be getting. Ah, I can't remember that much. <laughs> we're just gonna do it the lever way. If you wanna do it, the buttons. This is probably the most easiest way. The first way to build this thing. So it's like just just like that, yeah. And then you wanna have um, dust, and then torches, I believe. Yeah. Um, be right back. So guys, I'm back, and um, there's actually two ways to build this. Is. The first way is this levers, and then the torque is like this. Or, oh, let me just put this up. We can get the buttons and the T flip flop as well. Yeah, and I'll do that a bit later. Or actually, we could do it now. Yeah. So guys, I'm back, and um. I was just looking up how to build these again since I actually forgot how to build this. <laughs> so, um, I changed the design here since this is one of these to be. Just buttons, and then a block of space, and then your lamp. So, this is how I build it. We're going to be building a one wide T flip flop array with the buttons. So, first, actually, I'm going to have it be a circuit. Uh, we'll have it orange. So, you're going to place blocks. Directly beneath your resin lamps with a piece of dust like this. Then a repeater. Um, there we go. And then another <coughs> block like this. Actually, I'll just build it and then you can follow. Yeah, that's probably the best idea. Hmm. Um, so here it is, the one wide T flip flop. So when you push the button. Oh, fail. Hmm. What did I do wrong? Hmm. There we go. You're supposed to do that. And then go like that. I'll keep on building the rest. So it's just the torches. Off torch. Then you'll hold it like this. And then just put dust all above it. Now if I build it correctly. Dang it. 
Hmm. I didn't forget any timings. Maybe it's just that. There we go. It's so weird since sometimes these time these um these tiffle flops are bugged sometimes. So I'm just gonna leave it on two tick two ticks. If it works on one tick, then you can leave it at that. And um I'll just build the rest. Meet you back. So guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I finished the rest. Hopefully, if we try it out, all of them should work. So that one turns on. This one turns on. Okay, so it looks like all of them working. Okay. And so basically, if you push it again, it should turn itself off. Because it's a 1YT flip-flop. And yeah, so... That's the circuit and I'll be starting on the second circuit. Okay guys we're back and um we're gonna be working on we're actually not done with the input circuit yet since this is all input. We don't need to work on um this input for now. So just gonna get rinse some wool and then you're gonna place your peters here like this and then um you're gonna go up a couple blocks uh like four blocks or something. And then you're gonna get a sticky piston. Whoops. <coughs> so we're just gonna place a sticky piston up here. Oh, it's too high, isn't it? Yeah. So have it so that dang it, this is so hard. <laughs> kind of laggy since I'm recording right now. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, um, you're gonna have blocks like this, and then pieces of dust, like that, and then you're gonna have these to connect, there's some redstone, I just have it run up now, right like this, there we go, so, if we just run this up, yeah, if you just run it up, and then you push but, and then you push the button, this one here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what the heck? Probably the right one. Oh yeah, the line is too long. So just make it a bit shorter. Not a big deal. See now those pistons extend like that, and then they should power these pieces of dust. Okay, guys. So the next circuit we're building is the yellow circuit, and basically the yellow circuit is the code or mm, the passcode, the password, like the combination. It's going to be hard hard written into this, so that's where we're doing it. So. As you can see, we have three lamps here. You can change this, but I have three. So that means we're going to be having three lines of hard written code. So the first the first code, you can choose to bleh. You can choose it to be whatever you want. So let's say I just wanted to have it like this. Like that. So you just put in your code and then actually we're going to go into debug mode. So basically just delete right here. Just put a lever here and then flip it. So that's always on. And so now we're going to be getting it so that as you can see some pieces of dust are on. Now the pieces of dust that are on are actually you're just going to put blocks like this. Then the pieces of dust that are off, you're going to put a redstone torch above it. Hmm. No. Um pieces that are on you put right on torch that's off and then with this the off redstone you're gonna put a redstone torch on the side and then you'll put a block above it and then another redstone torch so that's also off and then you're gonna to put blocks all above like this and then you put a torch <coughs> 
So now this hard written piece of code. As you can see, since it's correct, this torch is on. If we were to enter in anything else like this, if I just go like this. I don't know if you look at it, now it's powered on because the code is incorrect. And then this torch is off. So yep. Now for the second code, you can just have it be whatever you want. I'm just gonna have it be like that. Now as you can see this is off. Now I just want to put repeaters. And then basically I just want to repeat it. So the yeah, I just want to put blocks. And then torches basically like this. And then remember this is completely customizable. So you don't have to put in the code I'm putting in. You can put in your own code. And then if you follow my method, you should be able to get this right. So now as you can see the first one is off because it has the fir first combination. But I mean it has the first combination in it. I have lost for words. I don't know why. So, and then the second one here is is the combination we have there. So that's why it's on. And now for the third combination, I'm just going to enter one random in. So I thought pretty simple, but I'm just showing it for the showcase of this tutorial. So just torches. Oh, hmm. Hmm, 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 Actually, I'm only going to have one aisle, which is the center. There we go. So, basically, just like this. There we go. And it doesn't really matter what way the torch is facing, but I just, just want to keep it like a box, so, so that nothing is astray. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll just have a torch here. So now, I think the third one is correct. And now we're going to be working on the hardest, I mean, the most logical circuit of the whole machine is the RS Knowledge Array. Okay guys, I'm back, and now we're going to be building the blue circuit. So what we're going to do is that we're going to place blocks like this, so that it connects to the torch, and all of this. And then a redstone torch, I believe. Um, I might be wrong, actually. Oh.
Okay, so it turns out I was wrong a bit, so I'll just place the torches here. And then you're gonna raise this up a couple blocks. This. And then a torch here. And then if you know an RS and Arlotch array, you probably know what I'm doing here. So just some dust. And then torches. And basically I'm just building some one right RS and Arlotches. Okay, so now that we have these, there's actually going to be some blocks above, like this. And the only blocks here. So there's going to be like a piece of dust, and then a sticky piston. A couple blocks up. Mm, now just use sandstone. So, like that. <laughs> Basically, it's going to be a reset. Oh, the first one doesn't have a piston, but then all the others do. So basically this is determining the order of the combination. Yeah. And then you're going to be having repeaters. And then they're all going to be leading into this block, which goes down like this. And then a repeater here. And then some dust like that. And then there's going to be repeaters on this side to reset. And basically just want to extend it out like this. And now this is the reset line. And so basically you can have it this get hooked up to anything, we're probably going to have a hook up to the reset and then we're going to have an incorrect combination here so um, sorry about the background noise um, yeah so we're going to start building now so now um, basically it's going to be like when you enter in the first combination it sends a signal to turn this off and then when you send a second combination it'll turn the third one off and yes basically that's how it works and then actually your output, I'll just have it be red, is right here. You should have dust leading. And then a torch. This is your output of the whole thing. So now you're, you're going to be having like blocks like this. I'm having going diagonal-ish. I have dust run above it and then a torch. Um actually hold up I think this needs to be one higher so we'll just make it go one higher so basically it's, exten it's extended by default so that if you enter in the second combination before the first one it'll be able to pass through here and then reset so basically that's how the logic works and then basically for the second one, it's going to be the same thing. Except they're going to have it extended out a couple blocks. Like that. Hmm. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of tricky. Yeah, I'm going to try to have it go like this. For now. Oh fail. So now if you want more combinations, you just basically extend this outward. And yeah, so basically, we should we can test it. So let's say we enter in the first combination. I just wanna open this up. Start with the background noise. So we're just gonna go like this. And then if we click enter combo. As you can see, basically the first one is detected which sent the signal up as you can see here and then it turned this off so now we can enter in the second combination without resetting the whole mach the whole mechanism so let's say we enter in a random combination now or let's say we enter the wrong combination in the wrong order so I have combination 3 is combination 2 now if we enter in this in what the heck the heck <laughs> So it should have sent a signal upward. 
should have. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, fail. This is not even a combination. Haha. -ha. So now if you enter that in, as you can see, if, if you saw there, basically this re extended. So I'll show it to you again. So this is our first combination. As you can see, it extended that. Then if we enter the wrong, um, like the third combination, that, then we hit the button. I'm gonna show you up close. As you can see, it, it did a bit of logic. So it went up, and then since this was, since, no, since the third combination was detected, it went to the third line, but then since this was extended, basically telling the machine that the second combination was not entered. It sent a signal through here and then reset. So I think I've been babbering on for a little while. Um, and now, that's basically the whole logic. So if, we're gr if we are to enter in the whole combination, I'll just do that really quickly. I see, there it is. And the second one just always off. Like that. Second combination. As you can see, it lifted up the second, the third one. Now, if we just go at this. Oh. The third one. As you can see, our torch turns on because all of them are correct. And now for the reset, we're going to be hooking up the reset now. Okay, so there are two types of resets. The first type of reset is from the reset button right here. The second one is if it's an incorrect combination. So basically we're just going to have a signal go this way and then lead all the way oops hmm. let's have it act like this so it's like this and then you're going to have a redstone up to it Okay, so basically it works. So now if we're to have like a first combination, then we enter it in. Then you want to reset it. As you see, it reset almost instantly. And now the second type of reset is going to be the purple circuit. So I'll go grab that. And basically, it's going to be like if the combination is incorrect. So there's going to be repeat. There's going to be torches here with dust like this. And then basically, you're going to be putting repeaters past here at about a second delay. So both on four, all of them. Now I believe these can be shortened, but it has to be at least that short. And then you're gonna put redstone dust like that. And then basically this is gonna lead straight to the reset. And then we're almost done. So we're just gonna place these sticky pistons. Oops. And so yeah, like this. The blocks. And then it's going to be inverted. Yeah, it's going to be inverted. And so just put a torch. And then have it go up to here. And so now as you see, all of these are extended. So now if the combination is correct, it'll send a very quick signal to here. And then it'll unpower these before the signal gets to here. But then if not, the signal will keep on traveling. And then it'll go through here and reset. So I'll just grab the line and drag it into here. Sorry about that. So you're just recommended to put a repeater here because the signal is going coming from all 
I'm gonna put a repeater here. So now basically this is your whole system. Now um, I'm just gonna hook this the output up to a redstone lamp. Yeah. I'm just gonna move right up here. And yeah, so if we enter in all the cart combinations. Um oh fail. Dang it. Um we forgot to wire on these here. <sighs> so basically what we're gonna do is that these lines here like this, as you can see. You just mess them extend these out. And then have them go up a block. And then have them go all the way out. And basically these are buffer lines so that you know it basically gives you an indication. And yeah, so I'm just gonna put a repeater here above every single torch so that there's no interference. As you see it's probably already interference with this one. Oh well. So now basically the signal's gonna run all the way to these lamps. So the first lamp's gonna be here, second one here, third one there. Now I'm just gonna make I'm just make I'm trying to make it simple and not too complicated. So you just wanna torch like that. And then repeaters. And then basically um gonna be something like this and then this is gonna be the first screen see this one right here so we're gonna have it wrap all the way here like this so if we just extend this line out and then go all the way down we'll probably need to sit ah oh, fail so I'll just have it be like this there we go. So now, as you can see, the first combination. Actually, I'll invert this. There we go. And then I'm, gonna, I'm guessing all the other ones have to be inverted as well. I'm pretty sure they are. I know they are since this is my own creation. <laughs> so the second one and the third one go here, right next to it. It goes all the way like that. So I'm just gonna run the lines up here. Now actually I'm just gonna cheat a bit. And then break these two torches because since this is Oh fail. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. So as you can see it reset. Now I'm just trying to place the rest in here. And a repeater. And then something like this. And then it's inverted. Yeah, just like this. So it might be a bit more laggy. So I'm actually going to add timings. Um. Yes, uh, they all go at the same time. Duncan, oh my gosh. Sorry about the background noise. <laughs> Brother's being very excited about something. So, basically, we're just going to finish this off by having the third buffer line. This, actually, this whole thing is unnecessary. But, you can have it if you want, just for, sh just for um, visual representation. So I'm gonna try to finish this. Just finishing placing this redstone. I believe, yeah. Wait a minute. I'll, I'll just put a torch here. 
Yeah, okay. So now there's gonna be a third torch. Like that. So now she looks up with this. Oh. There we go. So now we're just gonna unpower this. And now if I did it right, I believe if we enter in the first combination this lamp lights up. Yep. Then to the second one. Hit the button second light lights up. Yep. And then if we enter in an incorrect combination. I will I think it's gonna reset. Yeah, reset. Which is good because that's the way it's supposed to work. So now so we enter in the whole combination in. And this actually a pretty fast lock as well. And then the third one. And knock shows like this. Yeah, there we go. So now if we hit it. Yeah, there we go. So all three are in this lamp is on. Oops. <laughs> Fail. And then as you can see. So now if I just click reset. Turns off that and this. And yeah. So that's basically the whole tutorial. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you want, please subscribe and like since it helps me as a small YouTube channel. <laughs> and until next time guys, see you later. Wait a minute, what's going on? I'm probably still recording. <laughs> Lol. So see you guys.